Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love of Games. We're here playing a little Tales of Symphonia. We just blasted the big uh, great tree of Carlon with the mana cannon. We got the Chosen all messed up, recovering in her home. Kratos is watching after her, waiting on Sheena to return. We're going to continue our adventure today, so please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Hop right back to it. Hey, yo. Instead of asking for Colette to do anything here, anything we can do. They're all freaking out. We're not going to go that way just yet. The entire salvation disappeared along with that monstrous tree. The end of the world. Some chosen regeneration she turned out to be, the world isn't mean Satan at all. In fact, even had someone like Kratos helped her and she still. Professor and Colette are finally back. Why does everyone look so mad? I heard the villages where the Chosen receives the Oracle in order to begin the regeneration, but things seem pretty tense here. The people from Azalea Ranch are staying at the school for now, but I'm afraid the designs may take notice. Huff, huff, huff. One pupperoo that we have to talk to still has Colette. To be honest, I have mixed feelings. Welcome to Halo. Out of eggs. Low on tomatoes. Got a little bit of chicken. Rid of some of this. It won't even let me try to sleep in the bed. Good. No woman. Yeah. The problem with us was destroyed by that monstrous tree. It's the biggest city in Silver Rock. We're we'll to go check that out. We may not accept you in some other cities, but here at least you're always welcome. This is your hometown. Come back anytime. Everyone kicked us out before. Hey, this building's up too. No one here. This is not rage. Those who were banished returning without permission. The Chosen failed, the, failed atrociously. It's the end of the world. Well, he certainly hasn't changed. And on top of that, people who you thought were else are actually half else. I bet you're the ones that led the Zions here to attack this village. What did you say? Mayor, he's only a child. It doesn't matter if he's a child, he's an half elf. There are enough of this from you. Now listen. You're the genius of Professor half elf, so what? There are good half elves just as there are bad humans. Oh, what does this kid know? You're raised by a dwarf. No wonder that you caused the chosen to fail her journey. And you even brought a bunch of dirty prisoners back here. It's intolerable how much pain you've caused the good humans of this village. What? Enough. You're just complaining about everything. Does any part of you besides your mouth even work? Chocolate. Yeah, you tell him. Oh. Bad enough I can handle this chump. You criticize and attack the people of their birth and upbringing, things they cannot change. It is you who are not human. What? We have an arrangement with the designs. I have a duty to protect this village, isn't that right? 
Say something. Enos is the smartest person in this village. He even knows the factorizations that you don't know. The professor's scary when she's angry, but when I know the answer, she's happy too. Wood isn't any good at school, but he's the strongest in the village. He saved me when I was attacked by monsters. Blet, she's always falling down and stuff, but she never cries. She doesn't cry even when it hurts. Colette has really grown up. Everyone? Rain. Shut up, you. Children, go away. These children understand the truth much better than you. And who do you think you are? It's not just you. Everyone showed all the responsibility on the Chosen, Lloyd, and the others. What have you done? You haven't done anything. We are powerless. Yes. But even powerless, we can still aid the Chosen and return her companions when they return and aid her companions when they return exhausted to the village. Mary, your words are so shallow that even a child can see through them. You say that you're powerless and force everything onto the Chosen, but when push comes to shove, you turn and blame her. That's just too much. For Cestus is dead. There are no more restrictions upon this village. We will take in the Chosen and her companions and the people from the ranch. And Mayor, we're not going to let you say a word about it. Yeah. Everyone, are you sure? I'm a half-elf, remember? But you were raised in this village, and Lloyd is like a member of the village too. Thank you, everyone. Fine, do what you want. I must apologize too. What? You say me, yet I couldn't bring myself to accept it. I heard at the ranch how you were kind to Grandma. Thank you. Thank you, Chocolate. I'll always remember Marble for the rest of my life. Hang in there, Lloyd. Don't forget, he who runs away and lives to fight another day. Hello, Beauty of Silver. Oh my, you surprised me. Hello, Princess. Ah, you're a funny man. All those who were captured by the Dians have no place to return and have come to Azalea. We're going to start over working together for the future. The Mary looked sad and lonely. I wonder if we overdid it. We didn't overdo it. He's a pain in the ass. The rain disappeared still, too. Hello, you're such a charming woman. Oh dear, oh my. Hey girl. Professor, what is it? No, it's nothing. No, no, just never mind. Huh. Perhaps the village has some hope left for it after all. Really looking forward to you cheering out the mayor. Not stupid enough to waste my time on lecturing pigs. Oh well, my apologies. She back, she's back. Small first step. So glad the people of the village accepted you, Genus. But the mayor? Just leave idiots like him alone. There's always stubborn people like that. All we can do is just work and change those around us little by little. Azalea was our first little step. For me, it was a great leap forward. Huh, did you say something? No, no, it's nothing. Yeah, best for everyone to get along. Yo, little beauty. Hello, are you one of the professor's new friends? Such a lovely lady. Oh my, I don't know what to say. Well, there's... Blet. Hello, how are you doing? Oh my, this is kind of embarrassing. Hello, Charming. Always the lady killer, huh? Uh, alright. There's no one else in here, right? Oh, just you. Talk to you. Talk to you. Old man. 
Is it my fault? You mean Colette? If I hadn't made that key crash, Colette wouldn't have wound up like this. She instead, she instead, and instead she would have still been herself. No, if you hadn't saved her, Colette would have been killed by Crucix. As a tool for Martell's resurrection. Well, that's true, but I don't want there to be any sacrifices. I don't want anyone to suffer. That way of thinking is not wrong. You must deal with the frustration of the fact that sometimes you're forced to make a choice. Will I take responsibility for the choices you've made? You're too harsh, Professor. The reason I say such harsh things is I believe that you will overcome them. You're a strong, Lloyd. Yeah. Yeah, okay, right here, let me heal you. Be careful. Dallas is the one dude you would not want to let into the Chosen's bedroom. Talk to you. Maybe relying too much on Colette. Colette, are you alright now? Yes, I think. I'm sorry for making everyone worry. They accepted a request from Vrea and Frank to escort the Chosen to your father's house. To dad's house, why? Grandmother said Doris know the most about crucifix. Crystals? I see, yeah, they probably do. I'll go with you. I should visit dad every once in a while. Yes, you do that. After I deliver the Chosen, I will return to crucifix. What about Sheena? I requested a message be sent. She should rejoin you soon. Gotcha, then let's go back to Dad's place. Cursed Sword of Nibelum. The Cursed Sword of Nibelum. It gives me chills just looking at it. It's really admirable to see Abhesion to collect and seal these. Oh, what's wrong, Persea? There's disturbing sound. Can't you hear it? No, I don't hear anything. If Colette can't hear you, it must be your imagination. I suppose you're right, it must just be my ears. I am using all the cursed weapons, right? I can't change anything in Kratos. Just in case, we're gonna make that another save. That for Cesus guy, he's a little different from the other five grand cardinals. He was a design hero who once killed every member of a group of humans are leading a massacre of half-elves. A hero. It's said that he had a full knightly virtue, kind to his companions, and a fierce god of death to his enemies. From a human point of view, he's a horrible villain, but to half-elves he must have been a true hero. Yes, that is why the war is so tragic. It means to make victims of your opponents and your birth to hatred. If Forsythus had been born in a world where we accepted each other, we might have been able to get along. Yes, perhaps so. Hey mom, back again. Thank you, your exosphere. Without it, I never made it this far. Getting a little stronger, but I still need to hold on to it just a little while longer. Dirt skills. How much dwarfin techniques did your father inherit? How much all of it, I guess. 
The dwarves who chose not to join Crusix lost a variety of skills in exchange for their freedom. Your father is almost certainly one of those survivors. I see, so that's why Dad and Altessa don't know of the same things. The Chosen's illness may be on Dark's ability to cure. No. Lloyd! Dad! How have you been? Were you affected by the earthquake? This area is on top of hard bedrock. Everything is fine. Dirk, we are here by the request of Colette's family. They wish for you to help her. I'm afraid even if Crucis crystals are an evolved form of X-Sphere, I still don't know the first thing about them. It'd be a better idea to ask a dwarf over in that Tethyala place. Oh, so even you don't know anything about these? I'm sorry I couldn't be of help. At least stay here for the night to get some rest. I must politely decline. Ah, all right. Wait, are you really going back to Crucius? I am an angel of Crucius. Then why didn't you follow Yggdrasil's orders? To leave the Great Seed alone? I have my reasons, that's all. But as a result, Martell was not lost. That goes along with Yggdrasil's wishes. It's true, then. You really are our enemy. Lloyd. What? If you want to save the Chosen, you should research the records from the ancient Carlon War. Remember the words of the Unicorn at Lake Umasi. Wait. Why are you with Crucius when you're a human? What is he trying to do? Hey, wasn't that Kratos just now? Sheena! Yeah, he returned to Crucius. I see. So he really is our enemy. Yeah, but anyway, welcome back. Thanks. Thank goodness we stopped the giant tree. Yeah. Hey, uh... Who's hey, uh... This area resembles Ozette. Yeah. This entire area is surrounded by a forest. Lloyd. I heard about Chocolat. And about Marble? Yes. And other things as well. Were you hurt? By Chocolat's hatred towards you? Well, yeah. It's definitely painful when someone hates you, even if I deserved it. I see. But I'm going to do everything I can to make up for it. Even if I don't ever make up for it completely. Even if she never forgives you? Whether or not you're forgiven isn't important. It's the effort that matters. At least, that's what I think. This area resembles... Yeah. I did yeah. not mean to start yeah. the conversation yeah. again. I... But I'm... If... What? It's the... You've grown so big, Lloyd. You've really matured. I'm so proud of you, son. Hey, old Regal. This whole time, Colette hid her suffering deep in her heart and always kept a smile on her face. Yeah, and once again, I failed to notice. She is a courageous girl. It takes tremendous strength to smile no matter how dire the situation. Colette hides her suffering too much. It's okay for her to let her true feelings show. She knows the power that words possess. Power of words? Your will manifests itself in the words you speak, whether they be curses or words of joy. The soul of those words yields power. I get it. Okay, and I'm gonna say it out loud right now. I will save Colette and both worlds. This whole time no. and- Yeah. She- It was not Colette. trying to talk she again. You're with- I No, she's down there. We'll save Colette for last. No, she whine. The problem is what to do now. We need to know how the two worlds were forced apart before we can figure out a way to save them. How the worlds were forced apart? I wonder about that too, but. I also want to know why Yggdrasil split the world in two. Don't you think it was to protect the Great Seed? To protect Martell? But because the worlds were pulled apart, that phase thing got shifted. 
and the great seed became unstable, right? And that's not really protecting her. That's more like putting her in danger. Lloyd, you manage to say something intelligent every now and then. You're absolutely right. Every now and then? Jeez, that's harsh. The who, why, and how. That's what we need to know. Right now, all we know is who. I bet you lived a crappy hard life so far, huh? Gee, you sure know how to cheer someone up, don't you? <laughs> well, don't worry about it too much. So now what? Aren't you at your wit's end right about now? Why do you say that? The giant tree, which we thought was all good, goes nuts. Our cute little Colette comes down with some funky cold. It's just human nature to start getting tired of it all. I'm never gonna give up. If I quit, I'll never be able to face all the people who've suffered because of what I've done. So I'm gonna fight to the very end. I can't give up. Hot-headed and stubborn as hell. Well, but I guess that's what I dig about you. Lloyd, I feel like I'm starting to hate humans more and more. I'm sorry, Genus. You don't have to apologize, Lloyd. I like you, as well as the people of Isalia. It's just that when I think about how there are lots of people who think just like the mayor... I remember a lesson where the professor said that words exist in order for people to understand one another. What do you do about people who don't want to understand? Genus. I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. Don't worry about it. Dang, Genus. Considering what's going to happen, you should go talk with the others. Talk with everyone now besides Colette. Lloyd, I'm sorry. I'm being a burden to you again, aren't I? What are you talking about? You're the one that's suffering. Stop apologizing. Okay. I'm sorry. Lloyd, you saw my shoulder, right? Yeah. I wonder if I'm just going to turn into one big X-sphere. You dork. There's no way that'll happen. But it keeps spreading. Right now it's still hidden under my clothes. But eventually... Colette. If that happens, you're going to hate me. I've caused you so much trouble. And now on top of that, my body's turning into this disgusting thing. It's not disgusting. Remember what I said. You're you. Even if you become an X-Fear. No. No, I won't let you become an X-Fear. Really? Yeah. Have I ever lied before? Well, okay. I have. But I did keep my promise to give you your birthday present. So I swear that I'll save you no matter what. I promise. <laughs> you always save me. And you always keep the promises you've made to me. Yeah. So cheer up. When you're down, everyone feels sad. Including me. I'm truly thankful to have met you, Lloyd. This time, I don't want to disappear. I really don't. I'm gonna live, right? I'm going to be able to stay by your side, right? Of course. You're right here, in front of me, alive. I swear that you will be absolutely, positively, indubitably all right. What are we going to do now? Let's go see Altessa for Colette. Yes, regardless of whether or not we trust Kratos' words, we better return to Tetheola for now. Can we trust him, though? We don't have any other leads, all we can do is keep on going. Now, we can adjust our party. The swap you. Honestly, I'll swap. You and Zelos. Cooking. I do not want meat. Lloyd's meat stew. And tech. Let's see. Vault. Healing Wind. I 
Alright, so you're all good. We're gonna save it. We're gonna peace out of here. Alright, so back to Azalea. As we have an important tasking with the pup. Huff, huff, huff. This one's buns, buns, buns. Go up a little bit. We also got to find Nova's caravan. Wherever they may have went. Tessa Trail. Hey, rain statue. I can't say I'm happy with they made a statue of me. Why do you say that? Being captured in a statue or in books means you remain a part of history. History is something to me to study. I'm not one who am one who I'm supposed to be studied. You're embarrassed at the compliment, Professor. How do you get that out of what I just said? Because your face is all red. Oh. Alright. We're looking for Nova's caravan. Don't know where they may have went. We're gonna hunt us a peak real quick. Or Hema peak. You on? It. It's you. What are you doing? Nothing. But you're looking for something really important, huh? Prison idle talk will bring your downfall. What's he looking for? I'll say I had no idea he'd be here. Kinda curious if he's in here now. Hello, oh, beauty silver aunt, yes. Old dude. Young dude. Young lady. Crap. Not expecting a interaction thing to pop up in here. Just wait for a minute. Is it punishment? What is your body okay? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you. I see. That's good, then. I wonder if... Huh? Is this punishment because I quit the world regeneration? Nonsense. You suffered through all that all by yourself. How can anybody want to punish that? Thank you, Lloyd. Yeah, I'll get a room.
Did he? No. Did he? Alright, do your best. Wine. I wonder why Yuan was up here. City of Lunin. Hello, charming woman. Such a flirt. Yeah, the statue's well made. Says. You've already got all the monsters in the region. Um, I think we could get everything we needed to in there. Hi, beautiful. He he he. City cells potentially grow. Um, hit up the store. Nothing. Young lady, cutie, hee hee. Uh, Beauty of Silverant. Alright. Still destroyed. Which is honestly good. Don't know if anything. Nope, nothing else there. Takes you over the mountains, not where I'm wanting to go. Run over here, see if anything catches my eye. I'm go buy some food. Wow, we used a lot of ingredients. Can you imagine going to the grocery store and spending $6,984 on items? Now we're gonna go see if Palma Costa really did get destroyed. To be sad if it did. We're also still looking for Nova's caravan. Which... It's no longer listed.
That ain't good. And, uh, well, Makosa's gone. You didn't have to make a statue like that. Are you happy? I love it if it was me. Oh, I know, it's because the statue has much better measurements than you do. You better shut up or I'll smack you. Don't get mad at me because I'm right, Sheena. Ow, ow, hey, ow. Stupid Chosen. So well, that's the one from over here. Huh. Really is destroyed to absolutely nothing. Can't land on that. That sucks, because we still had stuff to do in Palamacosta. Lloyd statue. This is kind of embarrassing. I just expect that everyone wanted to express their thanks to you in a way that you could keep and remember. But I really didn't do anything. Yeah, you really did. Ha 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 ha. Wow, they fully destroyed the city. All right, well, we need to go back to, uh, the area. I have a feeling we're not going to come back to Tetheala for, or uh, Silveron for a while. Got to ease a little real quick. Wrong one. I've never found this lady's dude to give her a letter. Hi, Alfred, where are you now? Are you still wandering the seas? Alright. Gazelia, Lunin, Alamacosta, all destroyed. All right. Anything in Lenore since we're right here? Um, veggie person. Buy more rice. All right, well, I think that's that. Um, so from where we are now, that's hot springs. I wish I could change the dot color, because I'm colorblind and it's really hard to see on this map. Oh, I could go to Mizuho real quick. The, yeah, we already took care of some spirit darkness. Ah, right, beautiful. If we hear anything else, we'll let you know. Uh, wrong way. How's that real quick? Depressing. 
Handheld test this house. Can we just leave Mythos here forever? Yeah, if you're back here in Tethiala, then the world must be... Actually... I see, so what caused a massive earthquakes the other day? Was there damage on this side too? It seems that the other regions were not greatly affected, but... There were landslides, falling rocks in this area, and because of that, Mythos was... Hey Mythos, what happened? You're hurt? Oh, it's okay, I'm fine now. Did you see the boulders outside? The other day there was a massive earthquake and the boulders fell towards me. Mythos saved me, but was hurt instead. See, I'm glad you're saved. Yeah, that's really impressive. Like the other... The way you protected Tabitha like that, Mythos. You saved us before too. You're a really nice guy, Mythos. Ah, uh, not really. Mythos is a kind of person. Hey, he helped us find Rain when she disappeared too. You're awesome, Mythos. Thank you. Nice guy, huh? Regarding Colette's illness, it's most likely chronic and jealous crystallis inforicium. Chronic and jealous. Rejection of the crystal is said to occur in one out of every million people, but I've heard that knowledge of the cure was lost long ago. If you could find records from the ancient war, then perhaps. It all comes back to the ancient war, but where do you go to find records of it? There's an archive building in Cybeck that's dedicated to the history of Mythos. Oh yeah, now that you mention I've heard of that. Oh yes, I do know about that. An archive building, I wonder if it will be of any use. If you like, I can show you around there. Yeah, that'd be great. You just want to go with Mythos. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess an archive building will be safe enough. Sure, let's go together. Oh, wow. Well. Don't trust the twerp. Alright, so Cybeck, here we come. We can turn our riards. Yeah. Oh, my beloved. Materials pertaining to Mythos and his companions are displayed in this area. Hey, take a look at this. What's up? One of Mythos' companions was afflicted with a disease that crystallizes the body. That's the same as Colette. What is sick? Yeah, it happened a while ago to that person. It seems it was cured. And there is a way to cure it, just as Intel Intelsa said. I hope Deek hasn't been lost. What's the cure? It says the unicorn saved the maiden. Is the unicorn horn that we got from Lake Umasi? You mean the one that Rune used to learn the new healing arts? If so, we already know that healing arts can't help collab. I wonder if the unicorn itself is necessary. Now that you mention it, the unicorn did say he lived the healing of mortal sickness or something like that. Just like Kratos said, remember the unicorn's words. I wonder who Kratos really is. What are you talking about? He's a traitor. What are you gonna do if you trust him and wind up regretting it? There is a possibility, but let's test it before we start worrying about whether it's true or not. Yeah, we can only do what we can. Lloyd, you're strong. You think so? How can you be so positive when there may be a trap, only darkness may lie ahead? I think it's because my friends will help me. If I was alone, I think I would have already been crushed by the weight of the burden. I too wish I had had friends like that. You're a friend now too, right? Yeah, you're one of Lloyd's friends. Although you may catch his stupidity. Hey, genius. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I really envy you. But, how can we find out more information on the Carlon War? I've heard the royal family has compiled and stored most of the materials concerning Mythos in the Carlon War. During the Carlon War, Mythos did have various interactions with rulers. So it's Malatoka then, but the Pope has been breathing down our necks, it's dangerous. We don't have the luxury of complaining now about that. 
And we'll head to Melatoko, but you should go back, Mythos. Anyways, we'll take Mythos back, and it's fine, I can go back myself, but fine, you don't need to worry. And you're gonna be infiltrating the castle, right? So be careful. Yeah, okay, let's go. Do they really believe him? I'm green with Celos. It's not something you should agree with. Don't trust Mythos. Those in sickness. I've never heard of Colette's illness before. It says it's only briefly mentioned in Mythos's records. I wonder if any of the other chosen who embarked on the world regeneration encountered the same disease. Among the chosen who died along the way, there may have been some who suffered from it. The chosen is always one who suffers. We must do something to save the innocent girl. Oh my goodness. Is the bridge still up or is it down? I did not think that this bridge would be down this long. Melitoko. Thank you. What up dudes? This is the money. It's all there, hee <laughs> hee. Long before the king is dead. Probably another month or so with this poison. Takes a while. I've been told to make it look like he died from an illness. It's slow, but he'll sure di die for sure. Tells Emerus the Pope to wait a little bit longer. You see, I knew there was something wrong with it. Normally a healthy king got sick. What are we gonna do, Lloyd? Isn't it obvious if we save the king, He'll be in our debt, let's go. We can't. They just say that and they'll save him. Who's there? It's the Chosen. Damn it, it's Zealous. What? It's you, Varley. Damn, I can't believe the people know about the assassination. Be quiet. I won't forgive you. Gonna die here? You gotta be kidding me. Gonna die here like that damned Alicia. Don't insult Alicia. So here's the link between the Pope and Rodial and the five cardinals. The Pope is connected to Kanichua as well. The exospheres and Tethiali passed from Varley to Rodial, and the experiments related to the Crucius crystals were passed from Rodial to Varley and ultimately to the Pope. The Pope probably asked them to assassinate the king in exchange for his cooperation. Insolence. All right, let's get to the Pope. End of the Revenge. Finally accomplished my goals of so many years. What will you do now? For the sake of Lloyd and the others who aided me in my revenge? And for Leisha's sake as well, I shall assist in whatever meager ways I can to eliminate Crucius. Yes. Being Riley does not mean that everything is over. In fact, it may be just the beginning. Beginning? A new beginning for the sake of turning our eyes from the past and towards the future. Howdy, bad. Hello, Princess. Beloved. So, 
I don't know if the research institute here would be the next place to go. Or straight to the Pope. I mean, we are here. We're gonna go check out a few things. Got the princess. Hello, princess. Beauty. Madam. Entrance is already over. Miss Jahani, how are you? Pretty one over here, how are you? Is it time for the dinner party yet? Beloved, Madam, my teacher started to compliment me, saying I may be able to perform in a recital. Good luck. Thank you. Rosea. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? It's alright. Since you're here, please listen to a song. That song, it's a kind of older girl used to sing the song to me when I was little. I don't remember her face anymore, but it was because of this song that I came to enjoy music. For some reason, I suddenly felt like singing it. Thank you. Janet remembered you. It's strange. I'm happy, but my chest hurts. For say, when you realize the truth behind the pain in your chest, you'll be able to meet her as a girl from Rosette that she used to know. Yes. Oh my goodness. Move your ass. Slow walkers, man. Slow walking NPCs at that. Alright. You're late. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. What? What are you people doing here? Yes, I'm. We want to ask you about. You're poisoning His Majesty, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. You certainly are a stubborn little liar. Is there an antidote? I don't know anything. Don't move. And we'll have you drink this poison. It doesn't take effect immediately anyways. Alright. Then the drawer of the desk. Here it is. I have something I've wanted to ask you too. Why did you have to take... Or why did you have Kate executed? She was your daughter. Shut up. What do you know? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. So I'm asking. Are you stupid or something? You have a half-elfin daughter. Why do you take the initiative in creating rules to oppose half-elves? When I was young, I asked about the opposition of half-elves was wrong. Then why? The church exists to offer salvation to all, does it not? 
Are you capable of understanding the terror of growing older? While your child who supposedly shares your blood does not? It's not Kate's fault. That's the kind of species half-elves are. Yes, and that is why they are shunned. I understand the feeling of those who persecute them. Because my daughter is a half-elf, she terrifies me. It's called... I just call the guard. If the Chosen dies here, the church will be mine in both name and reality. Will the church of Martell last without the Chosen? Oh, we'll have Celis. The You did indeed drag my sister into this, you pathetic old geezer. It's your fault. Why is it worthless a responsible man like you, the Chosen? If it weren't for you, no one would have interfered with my half-elf banishment project. Why do humans treat us this way? Those who are different must be eliminated. Shut up, it doesn't matter if you're half-elf, human, or whatever. No matter who or what you are, once you're born in this world, you have the right to live. Don't move. Hey, he's uh, gonna get away. I'll take care of them. Damn, we got away. Cousin, I'm sorry, please prepare yourself. Ah, it's an angel. An angel has come down from heaven. The second coming of spiritual. Look, your heretical deeds have brought down the emissary of crucifix. Does one? Then this must truly be. Yes, yeah, she is the angel of death and destruction. Spiritual has returned. Please forgive us, O oh great angel. Um, what should I do? Hey, what's going on? Don't worry. Just follow my lead. The holy angel. Shall we be deal with these creatures? But, hey, you're going to kill them. But, okay, just say it like you're in command. Um, die. Please forgive us. Play one, spare their lives in my name. I will defeat those who oppose you. Once again, act as the chosen to spread the teachings of Martel. Please. Say you'll forgive them. Ah, I shall forgive you. Did you hear that? The angel has recognized the chosen, the true holy will of the church. Leave at once and capture my enemies, the Pope and his private soldiers, the Papal Knights. Yes, sir. Revoke the one in status the Chosen and his companions at once. Yes, sir. Everyone do as the Chosen commands. But everyone did what you said, Zealous. We were saved by the legend of Spiritia. Is that related to Spiritia, the Chosen, and Silveron? Beats me. If you want to know the details, go read in the books of church or something. Anyway, Scripture is famous for saving the Chosen by killing a king who tried to dispose of the Chosen. Ah, kind of what's going on now. This mean they were, they won't be chasing us anymore? The church should be fine now. Anyways, what's left is His Majesty. We need to let him know that he's been poisoned. Blood is now known as Spiritual Reborn. Wait, Princess, please let us see His Majesty. I don't know anything about the return of spiritship, but my father is sick. My father only wanted to protect Tethiella. We know. Are you aware that His Majesty has been poisoned by the Pope? That can't be. It's true, the Pope has run away upon being investigated for it. We must hurry and neutralize the poison. Please move. It looks like this is definitely the antidote. Oh, huh. Father. Ah, oh, what? Looks like you regained consciousness. Your Majesty, do you recognize me? The traitor Zealous, have you come to kill me? No, Zealous saved you. Traitor, yes, that does suit me. Anyways, we were set up by the Pope. We have no intention of harming Tepeala. Even if the ruling family were to doubt him, the church soldiers and citizens will certainly side with Zealous the Chosen. We have the return of Spiritual with us, after all. What do you want? We want to see the documents concerning the Hero Mythos in the Carlon War that are maintained by the royal family. They are stored in the archive on the second floor. Do what you will with them. Do not yourselves in front of me again. I am tired. I want nothing more to do with the church power struggles. You're just being selfish. It's alright, kid. Your majesty, we shall allow ourselves access. Hurry up and go. Hurry up and go. Uh, Zealous needs a flirt with the princess? These are the royal chambers.
Crimson Chainer, Noble Visitors. I'll talk to the guard on duty, I'm with some apologies. Oh, you're charming, hello. She gave us her holy bottle. Are you madam? It's Zelos. That was the dungeon, right? Heyo! It's Zealous. Where's the queen in all this? Hey, how are you? Oh, chosen one. Chosen one! You princess! Honey, how are you? Now zealous. Um. Hello, beloved. I think this is it. Alright, let's start looking through the books. It's no use. I can't believe we searched through all this and still haven't found it. Are there any other books? It's, I'm not gonna give up. There has to be a way. Boy, thank you, but it's okay. You can stop. This is angelic language. No, the ancient elven let or ancient elven letters. Wait, this may be it. Apparently, I didn't expect to. Find a book that way. Let's clump it. Zena seems to truly be blessed. Professor, what does it say? Wait. In order to prevent the erosion of the Crucis Crystal, a Mana Fragment and Zircon are fused using the Bolzman's techniques to create a Rune Crest. Fibers from the Mana Leaf Herb, when placed in the crest, protect against the crystallization caused by the illness. And the rest is just a theory. In other words, we need a mana fragment, zircon, and a unicorn horn, right? The mana leaf herb, and a mana leaf herb. Then we can make something called a rune crest. And attaching this to a key crest will, supposedly, will suppress the crystal's activity. Who's gonna make that? Well, a dwarf, I guess. What's gonna happen to Quet's body? It says the chronic angelus crystallum inferium, just like Altesse's diagnosis, is an illness that causes the entire body to become a crucius crystal. And now we have hope, but there's not much time. It says the epidermal crystallization begins within a few months. The final stages of disease cause the body to completely crystallize. The internal organs start to crystallize once the epidermis has crystallized, and then finally, the subject dies. So there's no point in trying to mince words. Yes, exactly. Then hurry, cute girls deserve to live long. Where are the materials? My company once handled Zircon. If we go to the main Lorenzio building, we should be able to find information stored on it and where it's stored. Mana Leaf Herb is probably in Heimdall. The Elfin Village, yes. I've heard the name of the plant before when I was a child. But the people of Heimdall forbid anyone that is not an elf to enter the village. Why? Seems there was some trouble between them and humans a long time ago. These days, no one enters without a permit from the King of Tepeala. Wonder if the king will give us a permit. Who knows, he doesn't want to see me. We could try asking Princess Hilda. And assuming we can get the mana leaf or what about the mana fragment? What is it? Beats me. The scriptures of the Church of Martell says there's a pass there's a passage that says 
The colossal mana of the great motherland Darius Carlon rained down upon the earth in fragments, giving birth to all living things. Puts in Darius Carlon. There's no proof, but... The enemy's main base. Let's do that later. First, let's go to either Heimdall or Renzo Company in Altamira. It's Zealous! The king is asking an urgent business to speak to the princess. Yeah, I'm trying to speak to the princess. Unless you've moved her somewhere else. She very well may have. But yeah, she's down there now. My father does says that he does not want to meet with anyone. But we have to go to Heimdall. The king is the only one who can issue the pass to Heimdall, right? Will you please ask him for us, princess? Zealous, if you insist, I will ask my father. Please wait one moment. Even if we receive the pass, Heimdall is not a friendly village to anyone except elves. I can't say if they'll give us a mana leaf herb. We'll give them to give it to us somehow. This is a letter from my father to Heimdall. You should be able to enter the village with this. Sweet. Thank you. Princess, you have my thanks. Where's Heimdall anyways? The Tower of Salvation is located at the center of the world, right? It's south of there. I heard it's surrounded by Ymir Forest. Okay, let's go, guys. King's letter. I'm down to the south of the Tower of Salvation through the Ymir Forest. But now we are no longer wanted. Dinner party? Not time. Hey, not one anymore. Figured it is worth stopping in, because you never know. We'll stop by the Coliseum once, too. Their face is taken down. We are no longer traitors. Entrance is still over. Alright, we should be able to leave out the main door now. Yep. Alright, so there's a few different locations we can go. Ymir Forest. There's no question, Heimdall lies ahead, I still remember. If ahead is the place where I was born? Okay, let's go. We finally made it this far, Heimdall, the village where I was born and raised, where only pure-blooded elves can live. Professor, what's with the scary look? Nothing, let's be going. Okay. And we're going to call it an episode there. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share that video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next episode. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.